It's an argument as old as motor racing itself, who's the best driver? And it's an argument that gets more difficult each season to answer, given the ever-increasing specialization in professional auto racing. Pitting top NASCAR drivers against top Indy car drivers, or finding a way to have sports car drivers run against Formula One competitors, it's simply too complicated. It has been tried before, of course. The International Race of Champions attempted to do just that when the series debuted in 1974, with Mark Donahue taking the first Iraq Championship, followed by Bobby Unser and A.J. Foyt. But assembling the proper roster of drivers for four races a year proved more and more difficult, and Iraq was done by 2006. So, is there any way to get some of the top drivers in multiple series to face off at a real speedway, battling it out in comparable cars? Chip Ganassi Racing's four GTs look to claim a second consecutive Rolex 24 win. In fact there is, and it will happen this week on January 27th. We are, of course, talking about the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championships season opening Rolex 24 at Daytona. Because the twice around the clock endurance race does not conflict with any other major auto race in the world, it allows drivers from many series to make a guest appearance. Which, it is worth noting, they have done every year since the Daytona Endurance Race debuted in 1962 as a three-hour event. That race was won by Dan Gurney, the incredibly versatile driver who scored wins in sports car racing, Indy car racing, NASCAR, and F1. Gurney died January 14. He always counted that Daytona race as one of his favorite twins, his Lotus 19 built up a big lead when, just before the end of the race, his engine failed. Gurney managed to coast to just shy of the finish line and then, at the three-hour mark, he let off the brakes and rolled down the banking to take the checkered flag, at approximately 5 miles per hour. For 2018, Gurney's legacy of versatility will be saluted by multiple drivers with solid experience outside the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, which sanctions the Rolex 24. Porsche's 911 RSR is most top-notch driving talent. Star studded is an overused term, but it's pretty much the only one that applies here. At the top of the list, Totime F1 champion Fernando Alonso, the Spanish McLaren driver who will make his first appearance at Daytona as part of the United Auto Sports Ligier LMP2 team. The fact that it is Alonso's first real sports car race should not discount his potential. He made his Indianapolis 500 debut in 2017 and was immediately on pace, leading for 27 laps and contending for the win when he was sidelined with mechanical issues. While he hasn't yet complied statistics comparable to Alonso, another active F1 driver is on sports car duty at the Rolex 24, Canadian Lance Stroll, who has been confirmed for a second season with the Williams F1 team this year. Stroll will be contesting his second Rolex 24, this time with Jackie Chan DC Racing, an LMP2 team that almost won the 2017 24 Hours of Le Mans outright. Other drivers with an F1 connection, Lando Norris, a McLaren junior driver and five European Formula 3 champion, is teaming with Alonso in the United Auto Sports entry. And 2017 Williams test and reserve driver Paul Di Resta, who raced in F1 with Force India for two years, will be part of a sister team to Alonso's in another United Auto Sports Ligier, 